Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the channel Sluggers Blue for your CAT VRC preparation. In this uh, session, we'll be continuing with the same RC that we had taken up in the part one of the session, uh, where I had taken you, uh, where, where I had explained the RC to you in detail. Uh, this RC uh, was asked in your CAD exam in uh, the year 2017 in the first lot and uh, I've titled the RC as the end of malls. 522 words, six questions. Okay, so let's start. Okay, now for those of you who are watching, who might be watching the, uh, one of these videos for the first time, I'll briefly explain to you the structure uh, of these sessions of this course. Okay, so now guys, every single session caters to one RC, one reading comprehension and uh, is in turn split into two parts the first part of the session is where i explain to you the passage of the rc in detail and the second part of the session is where i take you through the questions of the rc okay and uh, yeah so and 40 such sessions 40 such sessions make up a course 40 of these sessions make up a course which is titled as uh, an anthology of rcs which is directed towards your reading comprehension preparation for the cat all right the current video that you're watching is the second part of this session which caters to this particular rc all right so let's move on to the questions then okay guys so let's start with the questions the first uh, question says uh, the central idea of this passage is that uh, and then like you're supposed to select the among from among, among these four options the one that best fits uh, the central idea of the passage Okay, so let's start with the options. The first one says the closure of malls has affected the economic and social life of middle class America. Okay, now this is an idea that the author might agree with that. Yes, it has affected the social life because the author says how the number of jobs have decreased, right? And uh, in a way, uh, there, is, there is a chance that he might also agree with the social life part, like uh, because he has observed uh, in the past, he has talked about the interplay between the changing social interactions and the uh, the socio-cultural uh, utility of malls. So, yes, maybe. Uh, but the, the point is that uh, the condition of author's agreement is not the only thing that you need to check when you're checking for this, uh, when, you're, when you're selecting the central idea of the passage. Because see guys, the author must have talked about n number of things while, while uh, in the passage, right? And so only, only some of these points will be core to his argument and uh, the other points will just be peripheral in nature. They might be they might be something that the author does agree with but they won't necessarily be points which are the which which when read alone would convey the central idea the the, the central idea is generally a piece uh, of the author's proposition which if read alone will still convey the idea the core idea or the gist that he wants to convey right so so this is something that the author might partly agree with but but uh, will not convey his central, the central idea of the passage. Hence, you can eliminate this quite easily with a capital D. Coming to the next option, uh, it says uh, the central idea of the passage is that uh, is the advantages of malls outweigh their disadvantages. The author has talked about the purpose that malls serve, especially the socio-cultural purpose here, right? In the, in the in paragraph number three and paragraph number four. But nowhere does he seem to have directly talked about the disadvantages of the malls and then moreover forget about comparing the same and then coming to the conclusion that the advantages outweigh the disadvantages this discussion like, like this is totally out of the purview of the passage and hence can be very easily eliminated as being regarded as an error of inclusion here i'll uh, also note b uh, in the ui space coming to the next option uh, malls used to perform social function that has been lost also used to perform a social function that has been lost that that is uh, in fact uh, what the author has concluded that's the idea that the author has concluded the passage with see i i do agree that the author started the discussion with how uh, there's a retail apocalypse going on right there's a, about there's a uh, there's a huge he, he says that uh, this year alone more than 8600 8, stores could close so he talks about how the uh, large number of stores and malls have been closing uh, recently and how that has affected the jobs but guys that part he has uh, he's just used to set up the backdrop his main discussion starts from here on okay very very talks about the socio-cultural utility of malls in in the context of the usa as well as in a historical context and then uh, towards the end he notes that but now but but that socio-cultural utility utility of the malls is not rele relevant anymore because uh, the patterns of social interactions have changed so which which means to say that Malls used to perform a social function, 
that has been lost because now the patterns of interaction have changed. Now people have become uh, have adopted to the have adopted to the digital life, and where they don't have the need to go to the malls, neither do they have the do they have the time to go to the malls, right? So yes, so that is something that he wants to convey that because the patterns have changed, malls are not redundant, redundant are obsolete now, right? So malls used to perform a social function that has been lost. So that can be an answer. Okay, I'll mark it as a capital S. Last one, uh, malls are closing down because uh, people have found alternate ways to shop. Okay, now again, another case where the author will partly agree to this, right? Yes, yes, like people have having found alternate ways to shop where retail uh, is available to them on a click, right? Uh, something that the author says, uh, I think it says it uh, here with retail and romance available at a click. So yes, they do, they have found some alternate ways to shop, but that has not been given as the singular reason for the closing of malls. The reasons, the reason for closing of malls are multifold, right? Like the, so, so the, the, for, for a variety of factors, there is no need for people to go to the malls and for, uh, and for another set of variety of factors, they anyways don't have the time to go to the mall. Uh, and, 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 and moreover, even if di this did capture uh, the reasons why people don't shop in malls anymore, it would still not be the central idea of the passage. The central idea is still the same idea that that uh, there was a certain function that malls used to serve, but due to the changing uh, context of social interactions, uh, right, uh, due to the change in the patterns of social interactions, that function has been lost and hence malls are not relevant anymore, right? So. First of all, this is anyways in, not uh, completely accurate, option B. Uh, it's incomplete. And second of all, it, even if you allow for that incompleteness, it will still not serve as a proper central idea. So you can eliminate this option as well. Okay, so let's move on to the next. Question two. Why does the author say in paragraph two, the massive distribution centers Amazon has opened across the country, often not too far from the malls, the company helps shutter. The point of reference is here. Uh, it says some of those jobs can be found in the massive distribution centers Amazon has opened across the country, often not too far from the malls, the company helps shutter. Those jobs refers to the jobs created in the e-commerce sector. Okay, so let's assess the options. The first one says to highlight the irony of the situation. Yes, that is on point because if you read this sentence closely, it does seem like the author is trying to highlight the irony that the jobs that have been created are almost in the same place from where the jobs have been lost, right? And like they, are, they, are, they have been created in the massive distribution centers, uh, which are almost in the same location where there used to be a mall from where the jobs have been lost. So yes, there is an irony uh, that the author has try, is trying to point out here. So that does make sense, can be an answer, smallest. Uh, let's assess the other options before finalizing this one. Okay. Option B says uh, to indicate that malls and distribution centers are located in the same area. Guys, that's just the repetition of what the author has said here. So it's like saying that, uh, okay, I'm going to the uh, library. If someone, if I am, so let's suppose I'm going to the library and they ask me, why are you going to the library? And, I, and, and, if, if, if I, and if I respond to them by saying, I'm going to the library because I'm going to the library. Right. So that's a tautological and meaningless response. So uh, no, it doesn't make sense that uh, the author has in said this because he has said this. Or he has indicated that malls and distributions are located in the same center to indicate that they are located in the same center. No, so you can eliminate this quite easily. Next one, uh, to show that Amazon is helping certain brands go online. Amazon helping brands going online is an idea that has not been talked about anywhere in the past. It's a clear case of error of inclusion. We'll just I'll, we'll label this in the space of UI and mark this as with, eliminate this with a capital E. Option D to indicate that the shopping habits of the American middle class have changed. Up until the second paragraph, the author hasn't really said much about the changing habits of the American middle class. Okay, so, so that's the discussion that he starts. He in fact uh, has had that discussion only towards the end of the passage, the last paragraph about the changing patterns of social interaction and then the shopping habits, right? Uh, retail and romance being available at a click. 
in in the first two paragraph he has definitely not talked about, talked about any of these ideas about uh, the changing uh, social habits have not been talked about in the first two paragraphs for sure right the first paragraph was about showcasing uh, talking about the downfall of retail, uh, uh, retail stores and malls and the second is was about its impact on jobs okay so this can also be eliminated quite easily your answer will thus be option a coming to the next one question 3 the stem says uh, in paragraph 1 the phrase real estate developers once stumbled over themselves to quote suggests that they well you have to you're supposed to complete the sentence uh, so the point of reference is here this year alone more than 8600 stores could close according to industry estimates many of them the brand name anchor anchor outlets that real estate developers once stumbled over themselves to quote now what does this mean stumbled over themselves to quote because this basically means that uh, these brand name anchor outlets used to be so valued by real estate developers that they would almost stumble over themselves is basically an idiom that they would almost you know it's, it's almost like when you are trying to charm someone and then you're trying to compete with other people who are trying to charm the same person you almost in, in the in the fight uh, in a very funny, funny manner in a very you might just make a fool out, out, out of yourself right by stumbling over yourself by being clumsy so that's what this idiom means to signify that they used to be in such a hurry to uh, to you know charm these anchor outlets to uh, set up shop in their real estate projects that they would almost stumble over themselves in the in the process of quoting them in, uh, in this case quote does not mean quote in a legal sense as in a, a code of law it means uh, quote uh, as in trying to charm someone okay so that's now in light of that understanding let's read the options the first one says that this this phrase suggests that they uh, that is the real estate developers took brand name anchor outlets to quote now this seems this this seems to have taken the wrong meaning of the word quote okay this seems to suggest all the quote of law which is uh, not the case okay so you can eliminate this very easily uh, next one no longer pursue brand name anchor outlets they no longer pursue brand name anchor outlets uh, yes that's what it seems to suggest right that uh, real estate developers what is the keyword the keyword is once that means in the past they used to stumble over themselves to quote right uh, that means now they no longer pursue the brand name and uh, outlets because well retailing uh, retailing uh, in brick mortar is probably not profitable anymore because and that's the reason why probably why the stores are closing down so so it does it, it might just in fact suggest that yes they no longer pursue brand name anchor outlets but yes but will still uh, mark this as a, with a weak selection and see if we can come across a better option which is more direct which is still a little indirect okay so let's see if we can come across something better uh, option c uh, it says collaborated it, the phrase suggests that they collaborated with one another to get brand name anchor outlets no it, it rather seems to say that they competed with another it, it, there's nothing in the point of reference that that uh, demonstrates that they collaborated right so you can again eliminate this very easily next uh, option d that they were eager to get brand name anchor outlets to set up shop in their mall now guys this is a really really good trap why because this comes very close to what the author has tried to say here now if you look at this option in isolation just read this part that, that these uh, real estate uh, developers they were eager to get brand name anchor outlets to set up shop in their mall that's what it means right like they, they, they used to stumble over themselves uh, to quote those anchor outlets that means yes they were eager to get them outlets but but please read now now try to read this option in along with the question stem okay let's read it together the phrase real estate developers blah 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 was stumbled over themselves to quote suggests that they that is the real estate developers were eager to get brand name anchor outlets to set up shop in their mall now again if you're not careful it might still seem correct because it seems yes they say they were eager but no the this option would have been correct if this if it had been slightly different by uh, by using words by using a different set of words here that they used to be eager suppose this option had rather said that they that this this uh, this sentence suggests that that they used to be eager to get brand name anchor outlets to set up shop in their mall 
in that case it will completely make sense and it will in fact even trump option b because then it will become more direct uh, uh you know uh, a more direct interpretation of what the what this sentence means right that they used to be agar now they are not but because of the lack of these words it almost if you if you're not if you if you if you observe it carefully it almost seems to suggest that even at the point when the author is talking about this they were eager to get brand name anchor outlets to set up shop okay so that that's the reason why i am asking you to read this with the question stem in paragraph 1 the phrase suggests that they were eager to get brand name out, anchor outlets to set up shop no it does not suggest that they were eager it suggests that that they used to be eager to to get brand name anchor outlets to set up shop okay so that's why it's a, it's a it's a really really uh, uh you know uh, difficult trap here you know, that i've been that has been set up but it's but it's definitely incorrect so you can eliminate this with a capital e okay so your correct answer will thus be option b coming to question number 4 uh the author calls the mall an ecosystem unto itself because right you need to complete the sentence again so the point of reference uh, is here as you can see the that mall was an ecosystem unto itself a combination of community and commercialism peddling everything you, so, so the reason has been provided here very very directly so in light of this point of reference let's look at the options the first one says uh, people of all ages and from all walks of life went there okay so the author has talked about people from all ages and all walks of life going there in the, uh, at this point of reference but he talks about it here where gods and grandmothers could somehow walk through the same doors uh and that has not been that's not something that the author has taken as a reason uh for why he considers the uh, the mall to be an ecosystem unto itself otherwise he would have probably said this here if that was the main reason right uh, the main reason here he considers the mall as an ecosystem itself because according to him it's a combination of community and commercialism where everything that you do need and everything that you don't need is is sold right so that's the idea so, so it's not about so although as much as this is something that comes from within the passage but it is not uh, uh, you know it's not the reason why the author calls it an ecosystem unto itself people of all ages and from all walks of life went there yes so so this will be a case of tbnr you can note this as a tbnr because this option is true as per the passage but uh, it does not match with the question stem okay so that's so it's true but not relevant to the question stem you will mark it in the space of tbnr coming to option b it says people could shop as well as eat in one place okay so it's not about being able to shop he says that you you needed you you, you had everything available whether you need like uh, he basically says that uh, peddling the, the mall would peddle to you everything that you needed and everything you didn't it was it was basically an ecosystem it's a, it was a combination of community and commercialism right so so it was not so much about so so he hasn't specified like like what those peddling items were he has given a general idea of those right he uh, magic from ranging from something as diverse as magic eye posters to wind catchers to al jordans and so on and so forth so but but he has not specified that okay it's an ecosystem because you can shop as well as you can eat no so this can again be eliminated here quite easily uh, option c says it was a commercial space as well as a gathering place it was a commercial space uh, as well as a gathering place so this comes quite close because uh, see guys the commercial space corresponds to the commercialism part and the gathering place corresponds to uh, community part right so yes it does seem to match that uh, uh, that the mall was an ecosystem unto itself as because it was a combination of community and commercialism peddling everything you needed and everything you didn't right so, so so this is something that we'll definitely uh, select for now and let's see if we can if there's a better option we'll go for that otherwise we'll go for this option d it says it sold things that were needed as well as, well as those that were not now guys this is <laughs> the this this does come from the to be fair this does come from the relevant point of reference the author has said here that peddling everything you needed and everything you didn't right but that has been an exemplification of the main idea which is that the mall was an ecosystem because it's a, it was a combination of community and commercialism right so 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 and and then he goes on to say he goes on to uh, you know describe that further by by saying that it peddled to you 
it basically offered you everything you needed as well as everything you did not need so commercialism as well as community community right so but but if we go for option like like we cannot go for the exemplifiers we cannot choose the exemplifiers over the main idea the main idea is community and com community and commercialism so you cannot you cannot choose d over c c will still be the main the primary reason why the author considers the ecosystem to be the mall to be an ecosystem itself this is these are just exemplifiers which further elaborate the point and if we uh, so suppose op there was no option c in that case d would have been better than option a and b that's something that we can agree to but between c and d c will definitely make the uh, more appropriate option here so you can eliminate d on those grounds and your correct answer will thus be option c question five why does the author say that the mall has been america's public square now the point of reference for this is in this line uh, but for better or worse the mall has been uh, in america's uh, public square for the last 60 years so direct point of reference is here but the reason why the why the author has or how the author has concluded this comes from the earlier lines of the paragraph where he says that uh, the mall is both a workplace and a gathering place and uh, in the last 61 years since the first one opened in minneapolis the shopping mall has been where a huge swath of middle class families middle class america went for far more than shopping so this is key okay and what is this more than shopping part apart from shopping it was the home of first jobs blind dates place for family photos ear piercings where gods and grandmothers could somehow walk together through the same doors and find something they all liked sure the food was lousy and etc 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 et but for better or worse the mall has been america's public square so so guys the, the way the author has gone about his argument here is he has essentially described almost the characteristics of a public square where you find all sorts of people and you find all sorts of things being uh, going on and there is the the public square by itself does not discriminate right this is and then you have gods your grandmothers you have uh, piercings going on you have your blind dates first jobs everything right so that that's the that, that comes close to a clue uh, definition of a public square and then he concludes okay that but and hence we can see that but for better or worse the mall has been america's public square for the last six years now in light of this let's see which of these options best encapsulates this idea okay and and uh, assess and select that as the answer option number one uh, it says uh, malls did not bar anybody from entering the space so as much as that is probably a characteristic of a public square that there is no uh, the public square itself or in this case the mall uh, would not bear it also is exemplified partly partially by this goth and grandmother's line right uh, the goths and grandmothers could somehow walk through the same doors but the problem with this option is it is extremely narrow and even slightly distorted barring anybody or not barring is goes a little too extreme but and, and uh, even if you allow for the ex, ex, uh, extreme nature of the law of that part of the option it still is extremely narrow this this will this will not en encapsulate every aspect that the author has described in, in this paragraph okay so you can eliminate this uh, without uh, much reservations uh, option b it says uh, malls were a great place to shop for a huge section of the middle class yes uh, they were but that's not the point uh, the point is the reason why the author has called it a public uh, uh, regarded it as a public square is because there was much more to the malls than just shopping right and then he and then he goes on to and describe what that more than shopping part was so this is definitely not why this is true but this is not why the author has regarded it as a public square so you can eliminate this option as well option c malls were a hangout place where families grew close to each other again this is also true he, he uh, okay well not entirely you can't in, in for the complete growing growing close to each other part that is a little uncalled for uh, the author hasn't said the company he has just talked about place for family photos okay and then it's 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 uh, that doesn't necessarily that like we cannot assume that it it, it uh, the family is growing close together part and moreover and and way more importantly guys this even even if you allow for this error of assumption still it will not capture all the reasons why the author considers uh, the mall to be a public square public the definition of a public public square according to the author is not just a place where families grow together grow, grow close together that's a public square so no that, that's not true so again it's it's quite narrow so you can eliminate this as well 
coming to the last option this better be correct malls were a great place for everyone to gather and interact yes that's that's from among the choices that we have this is the most comprehensive and encompassing of the factors that have been mentioned here essentially all the points are are covered in these words gathering and interaction okay apart from that is, and that is the that, that takes care of the more than shopping part right so so yes so this is this comes quite low uh, this is i think the closest from among these options and will be the answer okay option d is the correct answer let's move on to the next one Okay, question six. Uh, it says uh, the author describes perfume flowers in the department stores in order to come. Well, you are you are supposed to complete the sentence. Uh, which of these four will fit here? The point of reference is right here. He says when well, it it starts from think of your mall or think of the one you went to as a kid. Think of the perfume flowers in the department stores, the fountains splashing below the skylight, the cinnamon wafting from the food court, and so on. Now, see guys. Uh, if you if you read if you just pay even a tiny bit of attention here we we can see that the kind of words or expressions he has used he he is trying to have the reader imagine stuff right or think of your mall that you generally go to or that you may have been to as a kid right think of the perfume clouds he is basically having the reader imagine it so it's it's uh, it's like, like that can give us at least uh, an idea as to what he's what he's trying to do before we go and check the options right so he he it is somewhere on the lines of having the reader imagine the atmosphere uh, or recall the atmosphere of a ball right okay so let's come to the options the first one says he describes all this in order to evoke memories by painting a picture of malls so yeah, it does seem like uh, he's trying to evoke memory so it does come close to what we had interpreted as to what the author is trying to do so yes this can be an answer next describe the smells and sights of the malls so the author describes the smells and sights of the malls to describe the smells and sights of the malls right so no this is that's that's again uh, that's just a tautological statement which is meaningless like it's again as a, as we i think we, we there was one more option in, uh, one of, uh, another of uh, one of the earlier questions right which which were all which was on the same lines uh, where we uh, we went through the example suppose uh, if i if i if someone asks me why am i going to the library and i tell them i'm going to the library because i'm going to the library that that, that, that doesn't give any information it's just tautological basic tautology basically means repeating the same thing again and again right so that be, without be giving any extra information or reasoning so so this option is definitely incorrect you can eliminate this very easily it doesn't tell you why it just repeats the same idea uh, option c uh, emphasize in order in order to emphasize that all brands were available under one roof nowhere as the author's concern being with respect to okay the all brands should be available and that was the greatest thing about the mall no he hasn't been concerned about the availability of brands he has been his, his concern has been about uh, the socio cultural utility that was uh, uh, delivered by the mall in terms of people being able to gather there as a community and so on and so forth so this is definitely not the reason you can eliminate this uh coming to option d uh show that mall smelled good because of the various stores and food court they probably but but uh i don't that that it that's not the reason why the author has mentioned mentions this to to show to show that the smell that okay because see the perfume clouds etc et that basically proves that the food smelled good and now i'm going to just talk about something totally different no so uh his concern has not been with how good the food smells or uh, you know uh, due to the various stores and food code in fact he has talked about the food being lousy at one point i think uh, right the food was lousy so so definitely the option d does not make sense that's not the reason he's the reason he's trying to is is very simple he's trying to and it is is very clear from the kind of expressions he has used he's having the reader think of the mall think of the one that you went to the skate think of the perfume right so he want he's trying to evoke memories here in the mind of the in the mind of the reader so option d is eliminated and your uh, correct option d is eliminated and your correct answer will be option a okay all right
Okay, coming to the vocabulary section, uh, the way we will go about this is uh, you have been provided the passage along with some highlighted words, which I figured some of you may have found challenging. And uh, on the right side, the meaning of those respective words. So you can check the word in its context in the, as part of its sentence and then check, uh, you know, uh, refer to its meaning to, to get a better understanding of that. Now, the meanings provided here are primarily I've tried to keep, keep them keep them contextual. The, the, the general meaning of a word and its contextual meaning are usually usually the same, but but in cases where there might have been a slight difference, I've, we, have, we have stuck with the contextual meaning. Okay, and the way you'll want to go about this is pause the video and go for it because I'm not going to go through, I'm not, I don't plan to go through each and every word here because we'll anyways have other separate vocabulary sessions or courses to take care of vocabulary. All right, so. All right, guys, so let's start with the analysis uh, and reading section of the video. So uh, starting with the analysis, RC analysis first, the genre for this RC is here. Now, uh, for those of you who might have faced difficulty in, in, the, in the topic of the RC, with respect to the topic of the RC, the ideas discussed, or maybe <clears throat> even the terminology of the RC, you would definitely benefit from reading more content from the same genre. Uh, the readability of uh, the RC, or not the RC, the passage, okay, the re uh, readability is just of the passage, uh, right, so it's ba it basically uh, shows you how difficult or easy the passage was to comprehend, it has been scored out of 10, it is based on a variant of Fleshkin CAD grade level scale that is the most ubiquitously used uh, readability uh, scale across various types of text, so it is quite reliable, uh, so it is based on the variant of this. So from this, you can gauge the how readable or easy or difficult to comprehend the passage was. Next, uh, the length of the passage uh, is also provided here. Uh, I would suggest that you better, you, 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 the parameter that you should use for, for understanding or uh, for, for checking the length of passage should not be just the number of words, but rather number of words that you are required to read for answering for every question that you need to answer. Right, so, uh, and which is, which for CAT RCs is usually around 100 question, hundred words per question, plus minus 15 to 20% sometimes. So you can, comp you can take this as a benchmark and compare how lengthy or not so lengthy this passage was. And accordingly, incorporate steps in your strategy to, to address if you faced issues in terms of, because of the passage length. Uh, coming to the last uh, part of the analysis, ideal time to solve the RC is the total time is listed here. Time required to you that you should have taken up while reading the passage should be should have been should have been less than this and for question should have been less than this and this is the overall total right so yeah so that's the idle time uh, finally suggested readings for this uh, based on this RC based on this genre and based on this RC uh, a couple of articles have been picked up which uh, the title and the author and the platform where they are available. Uh, have been provided here and the links to these articles are provided in, in the description of the uh, this YouTube video. Okay, so you can uh, check out those articles and read those, go through those to get some more exposure uh, in this genre and in this topic. Okay, so that completes the reading and analysis part of this section of this session. Okay, so guys, with this, we are done with, the, with this particular RC and this session. Uh, this was the fifth RC in the culture and social sciences genre. Post this, we'll be starting the next genre, the, which will be politics and governance. And uh, for those of you who have not watched the sessions or solved the other RCs, you can well, uh, go to the uh, pay playlist page uh, of the channel and uh, where you can access all the videos and in the description of the videos, the links where you can attempt all the RCs as well. Okay. All right. Okay, guys, so with this, we have come to the conclusion of the session. Now, uh, for those of you who have not watched the first part of this particular RC, this particular session, you can click here on this card and it will take you on this video and it will take you to the first part where you can go through the passage explainer to understand the passage in detail. Uh, and uh, for those of you who have who want to watch the intro video of the course, you can click on this card here. It will take you to the intro video of the course. And for those uh, and others like that. And definitely, if you like the session, do share it with others who might find it helpful and useful. And uh, definitely do subscribe to the channel Stuggers Blue for your CAD VRZ preparation. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.